We're a bunch of Year 3 radio students and we had to produce a live radio show from scratch. We're going to show you behind the scenes and introduce you to the team. This is The Making Of. Hi, my name's Sophie. I'm the editor for this show. Um, at the minute, I'm not doing too much. It's just booking the band for next week and making sure everyone's working all right and they haven't got any problems. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm the studio producer, God help me. And I'm also uh, going to be doing visuals, so I'm part of the making of this film. And we're going to be doing some art projects as well. So at the moment we're just exploring the studios. This is actually going to be the TV and weather studio. But hopefully it will all go well. Um, very well, we offer an excellent Hi, I'm Matt and I'm the presenter on Spotlight on Ace Radio. My name's Una and I'm going to be doing the news. Um, for our radio station project. I'm just currently um, doing some um, new stories now. Hi, I'm Mads. I am on the live show. I'll be doing weather and travel. And for this, what I'm doing now is I'm writing a script because um, I'm writing a drama with Kai. He's doing the sound and it's going to be a scary story. So it's like an illustrated monologue. Hi, I'm, I'm Ned. I'm doing the radio branding. And uh, right now I'm trying to get some sort of news Branding. I'm Kai, I'm the second studio engineer, um, along with Ned. Uh, his job would be impossible to do without me, and vice versa. Hi, I'm Katie, um, my role on the production is a content producer, and I'm also uh, making a feature on um, Christopher Marlowe and Shakespeare, and Christopher's influence on um, literature as well as Shakespeare's and I'm also in charge of doing a Christmas review. Hi, I'm Dan and I run the website. I keep all the stuff, all the information on it updated and I add images and video and anything that adds added value to the radio. Hi, I'm Claire. Um, I'm a content producer. Um, and for the production I'm going to be doing a feature on Thomas Beckett about the murder in um, the cathedral, um, which is a dramatised piece. Um, I'm also doing Christmas reviews, which is mainly focused on um, a DVD releases for Christmas. Hi, I'm Shana, I'm the visual producer and I'll be producing two visuals for the website. After all the research, this is where everything comes together. This is the production studio where the producer and the technical team make sure everything runs and sounds according to plan. Through the window in front of them sits the presenter in his own studio. Across the corridor, this is where the news and weather reporter read their bulletins. The show also had a live acoustic performance by David John. Why can't they hear me? Ina Mads, you should be starting by now. News on Ace with Una Duffy. Detective Chief Inspector Gordon Allison oh, says it was a ruthless me. act of violence as a result of his bruised ego. Sort of <laughs> There's just 10 seconds it. of madness and <laughs> devastation Why in this family it and it's something that Operation Trident are working on all the time to try and prevent happening. And finally, in sports, Andy Murray now knows that he'll play Rafael Nadal in the semi-finals of the ATP World Tour Tennis Finals. The world number one has secured a date with the British star after being Thomas Burdick 7661 at the O2 Arena. Arts, culture and entertainment, weather and travel. Hi, I'm Maddie Smithhurst. Over the last few days we've seen the first lot of wintry weather spread across the UK. And over the next 24 hours in Canterbury it's going to continue with temperatures falling steadily to minus 2 degrees this evening. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. 
And next up, we've got a close and personal interview with young artist Lucy Beck. She has been take, talking to our reporter, Shana Reese. What do you dislike about uh, the art world? Music. It right, seems quite elitist and exclusive yeah, sometimes, all the London galleries. If you want to find out more about Lucy and take a look at some of her work, you can go to our website at www.dash-dash-dash-dash-dash-dash.com to see the full video or interview. Right. Okay, so um, we're just trying to work out how to cut it down. <laughs> At the end of this, can you just say, like, that was Sophie Dunn with a brief history of comedy radio. Yeah, and now time for our next song or something like that. And that was Sophie Dunn with a brief history of radio. Still to come on today's show, Una will be finding out if it's last curtain call for the Marlow Theatre, and we'll be taking a walk down St Margaret Street where everything isn't quite as it seems. Before all of that, here's Gary Go with Engines. Beautiful song there by Gary Go. So early this week I was joined in the studio by Canterbury-based singer-songwriter David John. We were lucky enough to hear two exclusive tracks off his new album as well as a little chat, although it did probably feel longer for him about his musical career. Here's how it went. Today I've got David John in the studio. David's a musician. He's originally from Northampton. Okay, so Dave. You're listening to Ace, arts, culture and entertainment for Canterbury. Now it is that time of the show where we get to find out all the great stuff you can access via our website. Okay. I'm joined by our website yeah. creator and designer and all things great, Dan. So Dan, what's been going on with the website this Hopefully week? Hi Matt, we've had loads of improvements on the website this week. Particularly if you like to go out and about, there's new local features and a schedule of things that are happening in Canterbury and Kent, such as local artists and performances. The Book Club on Ace, every Sunday oh. evening from 6. Every week a new author from the UK will discuss the of the week. That's fine. To find out about this week's book. This is Spotlight. Competition. Okay, so earlier on asked the question on what TV show did Sean Locke appear as a team captain? Thankfully, nearly everyone got it right, but of course we did get the usual random answers, which I find highly amusing, as does producer Sam, who gets to read all your lovely messages. But I think of all the wrong answers today, my favourite has to be question time. I mean, can you imagine? That would be much, so much more entertaining with that programme if he was on it. Um, it would be great. However, the correct answer is, of course, 8 out of 10 cats. Thank you to everyone who texted in. As ever, though, there can only be one winner. And today's is Chris Elliott from Chatham. So congratulations, buddy. Tickets are on their way to you. And hey, even if Sean Locke isn't your thing, you get out of Chatham for the evening. And that, my friend, is a prize in itself. That is your lot for today. Thank it's you for joining me on today's little adventure. It's been amazing as ever. Coming up on next week's show, the local band, The Overdrafts, will be performing their new track as well as Chatham with Una and Ten Pam, seconds. Ten seconds. St Margaret Street. You're on Ace, listen to Spotlight. I've been Matt, and I'll probably be Matt again if I'm allowed to be. Next up, though, it's your news and weather and travel with the lovely Una and Maddie. Yes! yes! <laughs>